<laughs> Look, you can see him sweating. I really like how... How his response to the environment changes with the changing environments. It's really cool. Nice little detail. This place is actually beautiful. I mean, it's kind of dead and dry, but there's running water. That's something. This place is hot. There's a new color. Ooh. It seems that you need to learn a color before being able to erase it. Ah. So it is. What does it do? It looks sticky. Okay, so it's like the opposite of the ice. Hmm. Wonder what I'll use that for. Oh, is that the color right there? Nope. It seems that you that was a trap. Color before being able to erase it. There's a new color. It looks sticky. That beautiful flower was a gigantic trap. You can even see the uh, the claws or the mouth or whatever peeking behind it. Okay. Can I jump over it? Actually, I could maybe just do this. Yeah, there we go. It may be better to avoid those purple flowers. There are skeltigoths waiting underground. An unpleasant name for an unpleasant creature. Don't make any noise. We don't want to wake them up. Well, I kind of have to make noise to move, so. Hmm. You can walk with stealth over the brown color. Ah. So that's what it's for. Well, and I suppose it could probably be used to slow down enemies as well. And stuff like that. Brown is really sticky. It can come in really handy. Oh, I just noticed a cool little detail. If you look at the backgrounds, you can see you can see part of the background shimmering with the heat. That's really cool. Okay, so are they going to drop onto me? No. But if I got rid of the stickiness, they probably would. Hmm. This place is huge. Will you allow it to vanish as well? I'm not the one doing the vanishing. It's the void. Wait a minute, what's down here? I see some void down there. Which way do I want to go? Let's see what's up. Whoa. Oh, there's the color. That answers that question, and what do you know? The only way out after getting this color is past the thing where you need to use the color on. One more color. Every time you learn a new one, you learn more about its world. And you feel part of it. With brown, any surface can turn sticky. Oh, whoa, can you, like, climb walls or something? Can you wall jump? <gasps> that is awesome, look at that! That is so cool! 
Or just a blob stuck to the wall. That's awesome. That is really cool. I just want to keep sticking myself to the wall. You are starting to leave your mark on the world. You won't be insignificant anymore. You can combine brown with green. There's no wall high enough to stop you now. Ah. Do I need to though? Oh, I guess I, I can only jump away from the wall, of course. So I need to put green down here, but let me just test that just to get a feel for it. Yeah. See, I can do that and do that. Uh... I, I think I should move. Let's move. There we go. <laughs> okay, there's something about that point up there. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Learning new colors. Traveling around the world. It makes you grow up. It makes you want to live. Well, I can... I can sense a definite, like, metaphor for the whole game if you wanted to go in that direction. Not that it's necessarily meant to be that way, but you start out young, you start out curious, knowing nothing, and trying to absorb as much of the world as possible. And you go to different parts of the world, absorbing, absorb, uh, ob absorbing the local stuff, basically. Like I said, you go to the worlds and you learn more about them. You learn about the, uh... You learn about the world where you found the color. So, some obvious metaphors for growing up and... And, uh, traveling around the world and learning more about it and stuff like that. If you wanted to go in that direction. I actually don't particularly care for metaphors, so I don't usually go into that too much, but... It is interesting. Oh, whoa, I've just used way too much. Alright, so it looks like you don't have much of this brown to use compared to the other colors. But, if you have two walls, you can probably just keep jumping up, right? Mm-hmm. Anything can be attached to any surface with brown. Can it? So, I could do that. Okay, that's... wow. There's so many combinations already, and there's still two more colors to go. This is gonna get complicated really fast. In fact, it already has gotten complicated. Oh, I need it to actually be extended. So, I did that wrong. There we go. It can't be on the button, and it can't be destroyed. Chased, condemning the world you leave behind. It makes you feel terribly guilty. It makes you want to die. I am bringing destruction with my destruction with my every step. What the hell can I do, though? I mean, what is the void trying to do? Is it trying to bring me back, or is it simply trying to kill me? I'm pretty sure it's just killing me. I don't know. All right, this is gonna this is gonna get complicated real fast. Oh no! Uh, you actually have a lot of brown you can use. I guess it was just limited for the tutorial. Actually, it is a lot less than the other colors, but it seems like it's more than it was in the tutorial. Hmm. 
Anyway, so yes, I actually don't need to sneak past that. I could probably do this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Multiple ways to approach that puzzle. I like it. Wait a minute. What if I put it on the ceiling? Ah! I'm not sure how that necessarily helps me, at least... Well, I guess you could use it to maybe wait for a an enemy to pass by. Because I don't think that really helps you to get anywhere. Hmm. Anyway, can I just jump? No, didn't think so. Oh, did I just die? Oh, I did die, okay. I thought maybe that went somewhere. Oh, hi. Well, I guess I can just speed up. I might just hit my head again. Actually, wait, I, yeah, I can't put anything even around there. Perhaps I'm not supposed to? But what if you did that? Ah, okay. Every time you arrive in a new place, it seems strange. But you don't need so much time to start loving it. Oh, hello. Looks kind of like a scorpion, but it also kind of looks robotic. Shyphonets. They're lethal. Be really careful. That thing is creepy looking. It, do it does look... It looks part machine and part organic. What do they actually do? I'm assuming they shoot some sort of a projectile out of their tail thing. It looks like a gun. The Void created them after absorbing the mysterious cannons. They are aberrations. Half beast and half machine. I see. Whoa, it shoots a laser! Well, that's creepy. <laughs> Sounds a little bit Darth Vader-y. Okay, uh... If I use brown, can I sneak by it? Okay. The Void is impatient. Its monsters are becoming stronger. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Oh crap. Yeah, you can't avoid it because it's a laser. Let's keep sneaking. Actually, wait a minute. Hold on. What if you go super fast? Maybe you can avoid it. Nope, it can even shoot directly behind it. Okay. Wait, what if I touch it? Can, can I touch it? Okay. Nice little wall jumps. Cool. I'm really liking how all of these different colors and their properties combine together. Together to fight the enemies in the environment and to just overcome the obstacles in the environment. It's really cool. 
colors. I'm worried it's going to become too complicated with the uh, additional colors. Because I'm not particularly good at puzzles. Um, but yeah, so far it's really nice. I don't think I can sneak past it. What if I do that? Is it going to fall off? No. Okay. I can just go behind it. It will never die. It will never stop. Your escape will end tragically. There we go, three differently colored smiley faces. All of which are horribly drawn. What's the point of living if you are going to die at the end? Does it have any purpose? Is it worth it to keep struggling day by day? That is such a great thing to say to cheer someone up, isn't it? Are you feeling down? Well, what's the point of living if you're going to die at the end? <laughs> it's such a horrible thing to, to to think. What's the point of living if you are going to die at the end? That is really depressing. Oh, shit. What's the point of living if you're going <clears> to <throat> Let's try that again. At the end? Does it have any purpose? Wait, this isn't Is it going worth it to keep struggling day by day. It's not a sleep, so that's not going to work. So I just need to bounce. Okay. Nope, that goes nowhere. Anything can stick to brown color. There are lots of ways to use it to your advantage. Wait a minute, I've seen them hit the wall. Uh, let's see if that'll work. Oh, they don't even need to hit the wall. Like, uh, I've seen them hit the wall when they're um, sliding like this. Let's see if this works. I've seen them slam against the wall, but apparently you don't even need to use that. Look at the animations, they're so good. The way they fall off of it. When you take it back. It's so cool. What if I could do this? No, not... Well, actually... Actually, wait a minute. That is what I need to do, isn't it? Yeah, I just... Um, I can't go straight there, but I can do this. Okay, let's experiment a bit. Um, what does this do? Nothing. I could make it bounce, simple enough. That kills that one. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do, but somehow it worked. Don't distinguish between friends or enemies. Hmm. So, if I can wake it up. But how would I do that? By doing this? No. Oh, I just need to prime it first. I don't know if I can have the enemy wake it up, but I could wake it up myself. So, if I do this... Yep. <laughs> oh, and it goes away after it kills something. Maybe it's bringing it back to its young or, or something. Oh, but wait a minute. Doesn't that screw me? Wait, what if I do this? Okay, it doesn't stick it. 
Uh, do I... Oh, okay, here we go. I want to try this. Cool. I accomplished nothing. Oh, it's back. Okay, so apparently you can go... Oh, I have to do it all over again? Apparently you can go on the outside of the flower, but you can't touch it. I'm not sure if that's just when you're bouncing or even if you're walking. Let's, uh, let's test that out, actually. Alright, so if I just walk here... Okay, yeah, you just have to touch the, the center. Okay. There we go. Hmm. Make it slow. Can I stick it to the wall? It doesn't want to go. Maybe now it will. Or not. I could just... I I'm trying to experiment. I know, I know a way to solve this. I could just slow it down by just doing this and then going behind it. But I'm trying to think if there's something else I can do. I don't think there is. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I just need to trap it. I, I could just trap it. Simple enough. You are no longer a child. You have grown from your experiences. However, there's still a lot to see and learn. There's got to be at least two more worlds, because there's two more colors. Things are getting harder, but you are improving as well. I am. Let's see. I probably don't have enough time to get through the whole thing. No, so I need to do this. God, doesn't he just look adorable as that little blob stuck to the ceiling? Look at that. He's so cute. Maybe you are not just an insignificant piece of void. Look at that. How can you not love him? I think I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> yep. That's a sneeze, all right. Excuse me. Oh boy, this one's a machine gun. Okay. Oh, this one's easy. I guess block it by doing this. Oh, hold on. There we go. Stick it to the wall, block the shots. Awesome. Okay. This one looks like a bundle of fun. Hmm. 
That is extraordinarily fast. And once again, I have to wonder why such a thing is out in the desert. I'm also cleaning my glasses while I'm contemplating this puzzle, by the way. Gotta make sure they're nice and clean. Okay, well, I... Let's see, can I hide above it? Yes. Can I reach the ceiling by jumping, though? If I paste... If I put brown all over the ceiling. Come on, glasses. Clean faster. I have a game to play. I'll keep contemplating. Jump over to the side. Jump on top of it. Okay, I have an idea. Come on, stupid glasses. Why are glasses so hard to clean? Alright, good enough. Alright, brown here. Actually, let's just, let's just put brown everywhere. Oh, wow, I... Didn't think that would work. Okay. Oh, really? You, you die if you touch it? I thought you had to be, you had to be crushed. Apparently not. Hmm. That is not working. What am I doing wrong? There we go. Nope. Uh, no. Just just fall. Just fall. There we go. I love how there's skeletons everywhere. Wow, look at that drawing. <laughs> that is a work of art. It barely was even on the wall. Which means it served almost no purpose for me. Why am I stuck to the ceiling, you ask? Because it's awesome. Oh. I, I didn't even look up to see that there were spikes. Good job. Let's try that again. Okay. Alright. Need to avoid that, too. Got it. So I've got a wall jump in both cases. Little wall jump here. Nope, not like that. Little bit too far. <laughs> nope, that's not... I'm not exactly sure how to drop off. Hold on, how do you drop off of the wall? Do you press down? No. It seems like if you come off of the wall, you do a full jump no matter what. Unless you're upside down. If you're upside down like this, you can press the down button just to fall. Actually, that's the same as jump. Jump also just makes you fall. Okay. There we go. You started your journey in a cold place. Though it seems that while you advance, the world surrounding you becomes warmer. It... It does, actually. I hadn't even considered that. I mean, I know the first world was frozen, and the second one was the forest, which was warmer, and now it's actually extremely hot. But... If I've already gone from totally frozen to a desert, what are the next worlds going to be like? <laughs> Is it going to be in lava or something? Is it, am I going to be going to hell? Because so far, 
that's the trend I'm seeing if it continues to increase. I mean, how do you get hotter than a desert on Earth? That's, yeah, that's not gonna work. Actually, I might... Hmm. I can just do this again, can't I? Yeah, there we go. Aha! Goodbye! Didn't even know that was over there, but I'm glad I went there first. A sandstorm. The earth is shaking. It is coming. Well, the desert the desert is about to be destroyed. It is coming. It is getting close. The desert will be doomed. Doomed? Oh. What if I do this? Aha! Keeps me stuck to the ground. I'm surprised how well I'm doing so far. I haven't, I haven't gotten stuck on anything, which is so rare for me in a puzzle game. But I'm sure there's going to be a point where something's just really difficult. Try to stay on your feet. Let's forget that happened. Try to stay on your feet. Oh, wonderful. Look, um... I have to question something here. If my walking is loud enough to trigger that thing and wake it up, don't you think the huge stompy bits kind of clomping on the ground like two feet from it would maybe also do it? How very, very strange. Anyway. Okay, that works for the first one, but it doesn't work for this one. But... I think that's okay. Let's do this. Nope. That does not work. Well, I think I just screwed myself, didn't I? I triggered it. So, unless I can bounce over it. No. Alright, what if I just speed run through this? <laughs> no, okay. I think it might actually be triggered, uh, scripted to make sure that I cannot get by it using that. Just just to be sure, it doesn't matter how much momentum I you whoops get, right? I'm, I know this is not how you're supposed to solve it, obviously. Okay, yeah, actually, you can't really get that much momentum. First one I can get by, obviously. Second one, no way. Unless, hold on, I can jump. There we go, that's gonna do it. Oh god, that was close. Oh, wonderful. Uh, 
I can't do anything with their shots, right? I mean, I can just walk by them, obviously. No. Okay. Oh, whoops. Take your time. Did I just go upside down while on the top of this thing? What just happened there? That was interesting. Oh. I should have bounced. Uh, is this gonna work? It might still work. Oh yeah, that'll work. be prepared for it. Is it about to come for me? Yep. Here again. I knew it. It's unstoppable. Okay, okay. I know how to trigger this one. Just do that. It will never let you go. What the? Okay, I guess I need to put the brown a little bit sooner. There we go. Oh god, this is close, this is close. Okay. Don't touch the flower. This place is fading away. The flower is a lie. It is so sad. But you can't die just now. You are just starting to live. Oh, I'm out. And there goes the desert. Volcano, I was thinking, if it's getting hotter and hotter, what's going to happen next? I guess that answers my question. Volcano. You are in the volcano fields. A burning land of fire and magma. Not surprisingly, he's not doing too well. A dangerous and inhospitable place, where not even the hardest stones can prevail. This is the good old bounce off the wall trick. Oh, hi. Here is another color. The burning spirit of flames lie within the red color. Um, does that mean instant death? That doesn't sound good. Yep. Oh, 
Oh man, again, I know they're trying to eat me, but I feel bad for it. I just burned the poor thing to death. I know, it's a, it's a spiky monster that's trying to eat off my face, but... I just burned it to death. No, nothing should ever burn to death. That is a horrible way to go. It's extremely painful. Hmm. Oh, right. This thing? There we go. Right. So, let's avoid that. You can step on red, but don't stay there for too long. Right. Can't get rid of it or cover it up because I haven't learned the color yet. Right, so I can probably just jump. I can probably just keep jumping. Yep. <laughs> My feet keep catching on fire. That's awesome. That's so cool, isn't it? Look at that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to do this to you, but I'm checking out the cool effects. Look at that. I just love the artwork. It's so well done. Once again, you can see the background shifting because of the heat. Oh, gonna need to jump a lot here. Let's uh, rest for a second, cool down. Whoops. No, don't really need, what the hell? What am I even doing? I, what? That is not possible. This place is as hot as hell. It seems like it is hell. Let's get a nice little bounce over here. Uh, Get a nice little bounce over here, even though I don't know what I'm bouncing to. Let's be adventurous. Boing! Okay. Ah. There it is. The flower. Now go and get it. Somehow. <laughs> Somehow. Thank you for the help. Now, go get that flower! I... but... solve it yourself. You were so helpful before, but no longer. Stick you to the... or... Hmm. Okay, let's do... nope, nope, nope. That should do it. That seems pretty straightforward, but hold on, what's over here to the right? Ah, it's a checkpoint. Okay, let's leave that for now. Oh, right, I need to get back. Yes. That would be good. Once again, I don't know how you're doing it, but it's adorable. There we go. The fire is mine.
you temporarily forget about your problems and about your guilt. Now you have learned how to harm your enemies. Aw, I feel bad for doing this again, but it is a half machine, half biological scorpion monster that shoots lasers out of its tails. Uh, tails. Tail. So I guess I shouldn't feel too bad about it. anymore. They will never underestimate you again. Red colors enrage the fireflies. They will cast more light. It may prove useful in the future. I didn't even know this game had fireflies. Do I really want to piss off the fireflies though? They're so nice. I mean, they just, they just fly around with their lights. Why do I have to be burning them? Oh well. Fire is not only for killing. Sometimes it can be constructive. I see. Must go back to the volcano. Harness the power of fire and bring death to your enemies. Here we go. Should I burn it? I really don't need to. No, I'm not going to burn it. I don't need to. You need to use your abilities with responsibility. Just because I have them doesn't mean I should use them. I will leave that one be. These I will not leave be. Although I could try to get them sucked in. Hmm. Will they go into it? No. That is so incredibly effective, I have to wonder. How are they going to limit my ability to solve puzzles now? I can just basically kill any enemy I want. I can actually switch the colors with the number keys as well. I just love that noise. But do not let your guard down. Wait, did I just actually make it bounce off? <laughs> Hold on. Oh my god, this is the best thing ever. Look at this. <laughs> what have I done? This is awesome. Look at this. What a combo. It doesn't accomplish anything except amuse me and that's enough. That's all it needs to accomplish. And that creature is going for the right of its life. It doesn't, it doesn't even know what's happening. Okay, um... 
Let me see if I could just do this. Mm, I can't go over it. God, I love the animations. They're so well done. Yeah, I think I'm just going to have to kill it. Yeah, I've got to kill it. There's no room to jump over it. And the same with you. It is very angry. It is an angry color. Be careful. This place is very dark. Ah, so this is where the fireflies come in, isn't it? Looks like it does not light up the ground when I put the stuff on. Hmm. Those fireflies create some light, but there must be a way to make them brighter. God, I'm such a dick burning fireflies. It, it doesn't look like it matters how much you put on there, you just need a little bit, and then they, they go to full brightness. So I can just do that, and just leave it. Alright, um, can I just make them shoot themselves? <laughs> as amusing as it is, it doesn't actually help me. Okay, let's get rid of that. I wish it was brighter. It's still really hard to see. I mean, you can see the main part pretty... really easily, obviously, but I'm... There's something very disturbing about the fact that I can't see everything that's around the edge of the screen. It's very uncomfortable. I just imagine there's a monster up here. I guess fear of the unknown is why people are afraid of the dark, right? Oh, I'm up here. I was wondering where I was. Okay, well, I don't have any reason to mess with that at the moment. I can just go buy it. Goodbye. Mind the gap. What do you mean? What gap? Should be able to just go straight through this, right? Yeah, let's let's not put the fiery part on the ground that I'm going to walk on. It's a bad idea. Oh, I'm cooling them down, aren't I? Is that how that's, or what? Is that how that's working? Am I cooling them down? Sort of seemed like it. Okay, I could kill it. Or I could bounce over it. Hmm. 
Actually, wait a minute. Can I make this thing stuck? I don't think you can. I don't think they walk fast enough for that to really happen. No. Okay. But wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I think I tried this before, but let's try it again. Whoops. No. Alright, let's try this. <laughs> Holy crap. Mm, that does nothing. Alright, I think I can pretty easily just go over this thing. See? There we go. Easy as so. Oh, God. Oh, my God. The art on that is so good looking. Look at it. You know, it almost looks... Um, not the outline, but... Like, the lines around the bottom of it, especially when you see it turn right now. It kind of looks like it's under, like, a... I don't know, it's like a neon glow or something like that. It's so cool looking. I just love the art style. And how fluid it looks. I, I think it's actually hand-drawn. The animations. And it shows. But however however they did, I'm pretty sure it's hand-drawn, but... Even if it's not, it doesn't... You know, it doesn't really matter. The end result is what matters. And the end result is incredibly fluid-looking and good. Okay. Once again, I could burn it. Or... Let me guess, I could slow it down... Oh. It leaves its slimy void over everything and gets rid of anything you put on the ground. Okay. Still, though, I think I can still just jump over it. Whoops. Oh, I have to do this again. Okay. Yeah, no, no more tricks. Because it's going to reset me all the way back here. So let's just do the straightforward thing. So let's just do this. Oh, that's right. <laughs> As I just discovered, you can't do that. Um, hmm. I have an idea. I'm going to do this. This should propel me over the side. Oh. Almost. That might... Oh, God, I have to do this again. There should be a checkpoint there. That might work if I time it just right. I wonder if that's how you're supposed to do it, though. I don't know, the, uh, the bouncy trick seems better. There we go. Okay. That was Clement, a powerful creature. It can erase the colors, so be careful. That was a nasty surprise, and one I couldn't stop after I discovered it. Come on back, thank you. Oh. Dead end? Nope, I just need to wait for it to come back. Just gotta wait. That was much closer than I would have liked it. Do, 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 do
Something tells me I'm going to have to come back up there, but we'll see. One step at a time. There is no way to fight the Klimiths. They have no weaknesses at all. Or not. Maybe I just leave it alone. These cannons react with red color. Okay, so it supercharges their shots. Hmm. Interesting. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that, but... That's strange. I just had a thought. If you can heat them up to make them shoot faster, how come you can't cool them down to make them shoot slower? Just intuitively, that makes sense. I actually expected that to work when I did it, but no. Oh, well, doesn't really matter. Ah, wait a minute. He said they have no weakness, but maybe he's wrong. Let's see. <laughs> You're wrong, they do have a weakness. I guess nobody is invincible. Nope. Not even you, whatever you are. Well, this place looks unpleasant. Your journey goes from cold to heat. Oh, I need to actually mind that, don't I? It is a huge wave of lava. Yeah, lava. Hey, you can just feel the heat. Look at how everything's distorted, even the text. This is truly a hellish environment. This must be the hottest place on Earth. Well, there's another color, so maybe it's not. Maybe it's gonna get even hotter. Alright, I need to take over on top of this box in just a second, right about now. God, if he was sweating in the desert, wouldn't he be experiencing heat stroke? Your body feels warm. You may be completed at last. to the end of your journey. I guess it's rather appropriate that I started out cold, right? Because the void? What is a void? A void is, is nothing. It's a lack of something. And what is cold? Cold is a lack of heat. A lack of warmth. Alright, how far is this going to come up? Let me wait just a second here. Okay, all the way to here. That is very close. How far back do I have to go? 
Okay, not too far. That's fine. In fact, I might be able to get both of them. Yes, I can. Let me, um... Let me try this. Can I survive here? <laughs> that was close. Okay, I think we got a bounce here. We gotta bounce, we gotta blow this joint. There we go. Oh, shit. Scared me. <sighs> Goodbye. Get a little extra boost here. There we go. Mm, I'm gonna need to run across this very fast. Let's wait for the most ideal moment. There we go, am I safe? Yes. I don't think I would have been safe if I stayed down there. So I'm just high enough. Another dark cave. Though this time, you won't depend on anyone. You are your own light. Oh, I'm moving up in the world. I generate my own light. Although, I still would like it if it was brighter. So I didn't have to run away from enemies that were two feet away trying to eat my face. something over here. Let's see if I can burn it. I can't see. I think I'm burning it. I think I'm... Yeah, okay. There we go. <laughs> Apparently I made a Z when I was trying to burn it with this. It's interesting. Well, that's gonna bounce. Hmm. Let's just go buy it. I really don't like falling down somewhere where I can't see what's down there. And that's exactly why, because there's fucking spikes at the bottom of it. Okay, well I don't even need to go down there, so I'm just gonna leave that. Oh, hi. <sighs> if it was asleep before, it's not now. Oh, shit. That was not a... That was not good. Oh, I just did it again. There we go. Okay, maybe not. There we go. Staying on the ground is not safe. I've noticed. Oh, crap. I think I need to go to the ceiling. Yes. I just love the fact that you become a little blob stuck to the ceiling. That's so cool. I love it. creature down there and standing on void so I can't burn it. Okay, it's turned the other way. So I'm good. Ah, 
the light. I see the light. It's coming again. The void is almost here. Oh no, that's not good. You know what to do. You can't die now. You must keep living, even if that means destroying this mighty land. Look, I gotta be honest, I don't think anyone is gonna care if this place is destroyed. It is a hellhole. Nothing lives here, nothing dwells here, but pain and misery. It's not your fault. It's your curse. You don't want to destroy anything. Whoops. <laughs> but you did. I almost made it. It's coming again. The void is almost here. You know what to do. You can't die now. It's not your fault. Well, I'm not going to make it. Curse. It's coming again. Let's do it right this time. The void is almost here. You know what to do. You can't die now. It's not your fault. It's your curse. You don't want to destroy anything. But you deserve to live. Exactly, I'm just defending myself. I'm trying to not die. I feel safer up here. Oh, I... Never mind. I feel safer back here. I suddenly feel very unsafe. Uh, is it gonna rise up to this level? Yes, okay. So I need to go right... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I can just burn them. Achievement unlocked. Deathbringer. Yay, that's not a good thing to achieve. Out of everything I wanted to achieve in life, it is not bringing death. That is not one of them. That was not on the list. Oh crap. Hmm. Okay. I'm assuming the lava gets rid of the ice, right? Yes. Oh. Um, I think I just need to go fast and jump. And just, you know, generally not be terrible. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I need to go on top of it, duh. Okay, got it. Okay. Prepare to run. Well, that didn't work out. Do, do I have to do this whole thing again? Mm. I'm not even sure what to do there. What, what can I do to avoid that? Oh, okay. Just, I just need to be slower. Nice and easy. Here we go. I think it's about to start chasing me, but let's wait for the opportune moment when the lava is down. And time to go. It happens again. Oh, boy. Burn, 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 burn faster. Burn faster. Just like the other times, you must run. A 
I think I just missed my opportunity. Well, that didn't quite work out. In multiple ways. Let's try that again. Just like the other times. Neither did that work out. Must run. Just like the other times. You must run. Okay, that worked out. You will prevail. The lamb will perish. What is that noise? I do not like that noise. That sounded Oh, it was the giant snail thing dying, of course. Die, 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 faster! Fuck, 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 fuck! Come on, come on, what the... the, 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 the oh, oh! Guilt. Oh my god, that was close. Jesus. Remorse. Regret. Oh, stop trying to burn my feet! Screw you! Oh, 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 oh. This is not going to work too well. Nope. <laughs> I think I failed that. This idea will work. Uh, well, will it? It might work. Attaching to the roof. Oh wait, I just need to kill it. Right, uh, there we go. And then I need to get rid of it so I don't kill myself. I forgot about that property of the guns. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. You had to do it. It's not your fault. You had no choice. Oh, I'm free! I'm free!